Today we're learning how to make these animated icon infographics in PowerPoint all the way from scratch using the standard icon library that is available for everyone in PowerPoint. You can really customize it and play around with it so it fits the theme of your presentation. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to right click Format Background and add a gradient fill. We're going for the darkest radial gradient fill in our color palette. This gives a light center in the middle and then it gradually gets darker towards the outsides. Next, we go to the insert tab and we click icons. Here we can look for whichever icon we want. Let's try a map and now you can choose any continent. Let's go for South America, insert, close the sides and you can increase the shape. And this gives you a icon of South America. Let's fill it with light blue. And now we're going to Ctrl C, Ctrl V. We're going to position it on top of the country. We're going to right click crop. And now we're going to position the crop mark so it matches with the center of the picture. So one quarter is cropped out. This means you get one quarter of the icon. We're going to give this one tint darker and Ctrl C, Ctrl V again, position it correctly, right click, crop again, and now we're going to drag the crop marks down until they meet again in the quarter mark. Do that once more, position, adjust the crop handles, and then in the final one we have in the background, so we can crop this one and then position it for the top quarter. Now give them the different colors, so each part we're going to give it a slightly darker color of blue, and this gives us quite a nice split of the country. In this icon, the bottom part is less crowded and the top part is more crowded. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the crop marks a little bit, press enter, do the same for the top right one. And then we can increase the bottom ones so they optically feel like they're evenly split. Now we're going to add a text box, give it some dummy text. This could be any text that you like. We're going for the font Avenir next make it white font size about 16. we're going to duplicate this part and we're going to add some dummy text add the dummy text to the slide reduce font size to let's say 12. so everything fits nicely and position them correctly now we're going to add a circle shape hold shift while you drag to create a per perfect shape position it in front of the title remove the outline and give it the same color as the surface area of the icon. Go to the insert tab, shapes, and then choose the line, but the elbow connector line. This way you can connect from the dot to the point or the middle of that quarter. We're going to give the line shape the same color as the map or the part of the icon and then connect it. Now we can select the text and the indication. We can drag it downwards, create a copy, and now we only have to adjust the handle so it matches nicely change the color to the darker tint for both the elbow connector and the dot and then drag everything select everything hold ctrl shift and drag it again and we're going to arrange a line a line to right we're going to center it a line to right as well so the text matches there adjust the and then here our connector shapes need to be readjusted Little of the icon same for the bottom one here we go and you can adjust the handle if you want and then modify the outline shapes the shape fill so with the lighter one and the darkest where the outline shape and this way everything connects nicely this slide on its own already looks quite good if we want to add a little bit more of a finishing touch let's copy the text box type in south increase the font size let's make it bold or heavy first and now we're going to increase the font size and it can cover quite a bit of the slide. So let's try 250. That's a bit too big. 220, 175, that's better. Align it to the right, maybe a bit smaller. And then create a copy again. America, select both, right click, format object, text options. And we're going to set the transparency to about 98 or 99. Right click. Send to back. This way it's sent to the back of the slide. Let's increase the box a little bit and give it 155. And it can really cross the border. So it is really subtle. 
this looks quite good. Now before we animate, let's group the parts together. So select the title, text and the elements of your quarter group or press Ctrl G. Do the same for the other ones, the bottom left one and the bottom right one. This way we have four items. Now we're going to the slide, right click, duplicate slide. And on the first one, we're going to hold control and zoom backwards. You can also use this zooming indicator on the bottom right. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. We're going to select both the top quadrants and we're going to hold shift and drag them upwards. We're going to select the other one and drag it out a little further. For the bottom ones, we're going to do the same. And here we want to drag the right one downwards. Select both the title South America, drag them down, spread them a little bit so they fly in at a different rate. Now let's select the second slide again, go to transitions and add morph. And this way everything flies in quite nicely on the slide. Let's preview. And now if we click, then everything comes flying in nicely and connects. If you think that the South America is a little bit too dominant and distracting, you can always select it, right click, format object, text options, and maybe set it to 99. That is quite a difference with the previous one. That way it's more subtle in the background. Now this effect we can easily recreate with different icon shapes. So let's duplicate the slide, remove all the content, go to insert icons, and let's try something with gaming, get this controller, it works best with the completely filled icons, so you can see a full graphics fill instead of the outline icons. There's a different use for those. Increase the size, and now we know how it works. Shape fill, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then adjust the crop marks. Give it a dark tint, copy, adjust again, copy, adjust for the last border, give them different colors. And then the first one, of course, we have to adjust as well. There we go. We can easily copy the elements from the first slide and that way generate a pretty good looking slide in no time almost there we go that looks quite nice you can also add a subtitle let's try video games let's do video you can also do it a bit smaller so it doesn't have to cover the entire slide you could do video on one side don't worry if it crosses the border something that you show very subtly and maybe do the font increases to 105 that people can still take a guess of, of what it is and then preview this also looks quite nice let's balance it a little bit better so select everything drag it upwards that way you have equal spacing on the bottom and on the top that looks better this is quite a nice slide if you want to include some infographics or give like four important parts or four highlights of your gaming presentation or four elements of your country presentation. And this one we can also animate. So if you group them together, right click, duplicate the slide and then just drag out the components. I like to drag them out in opposite sides. So every block. So in this case, the top left one will fly in first, the bottom right, and then the top right and bottom left. So it's in a quite a pattern, which is nice that not everything flies in at once. That looks a bit awkward. Apply the morph transition. That looks pretty cool. And the same can be done with all the icons in the standard icon library. In this case, it's a car. You can do gaming console or a country. You can really be creative and make sure it fits your PowerPoint presentation or theme. And now you know how to make these beautiful animated icon infographics in PowerPoint using these standard icons that are available for everyone and that can really fit your theme in the presentation. You can really customize it, play around with it. The more transition is really powerful. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.